This one's going to be a short one, so I'll share a couple of things that happened tonight. So I'm still working on the NorCal 48 that came not too far away in the distant past. And I was going to show you that to change the frequency range of the VFO, this is the guy, C49, it's a 47 NPO. And if you look in the manual, Wayne was quite kind and put a note in there about how to extend the frequency range of the VFO. And I'll show you that. So he said it's a narrow band rig, but if you want to increase it, you make C49 larger to cover a wider range. So that's our clue that we have to get bigger. Then I went to my trusty supply of uh, Amazon supplied small caps that looks like this. Kind of gives you one of everything, or actually gives you a bunch of everything. I'll show you what's in there. So they call it a ceramic capacitor assortment, and they give you a pretty good assortment of each value. So that helped. So anyway, I tried a 47 picofarad cap just as a guess because that's the value of uh, C49. And that got a little bit too wild. That took me to 116 kilohertz range or 7116 at the top of the band. And the problem with that is that the middle of the band was 7080, which meant that uh, most of the QRP tuning would be done in the first uh, one quarter of the, of the knob rotation. So that's too much. So I went to a 22 picofarad, and that took me the first time while I was still messing with uh, the turns on the VFO toroid and the trimmer. I got 73, but the final measurement after tightening, tightening everything down and making sure that the bottom is really 2085, I got uh, 7077 for the top, and that puts the middle of the band at 7048, which seems okay. I'm going to try it tomorrow when the band opens up, and we'll see what we can make of this with a little better tuning. If it's okay, then I'll... Uh, expand on the pencil marks here. I'll put some paper back here and a piece of plastic to protect it so we'll have some kind of dial and um, that should be everything this needs except maybe a keyer. I'm not sure about that yet but we'll see. So there's the quick uh, two or three minute update to tell you. So if you want to change your VFO range you can find uh, see let me get rid of these probes you can find your capacitor right whoops a little shaking of the action there so c49 is right there and if you look on the bottom of the radio um, you can see that there is a sort of a resistor resistor going all of these in parallel only this one guy is going up and down and you can see that over here, and that's where I've paralleled that cap. And, uh, you know, when you zoom in that much, my solder joints and their solder joints don't look that pretty. <laughs> so I'll clean that up before we put the lid back on. That was the tack in to see if it was going to work. And I may shorten it just a bit, too, since it's in the frequency determining components. So there's your update. Happy playing with your NorCal 40. See ya.